For centuries, humanity has looked up at the night sky, believing we understood its vastness. We charted the stars, mapped distant galaxies, and calculated the number of worlds beyond our reach. We thought that by naming constellations and tracing light through telescopes, we could somehow contain infinity within our grasp. But every time we believed we had captured the universe's limits, reality shattered that illusion. And now, the James Webb Space Telescope has done it again. Not with a whisper, but with a revelation so profound that it threatens to rewrite our understanding of everything. With a single image, one that stretches across 13.5 billion years of cosmic history, Webb has forced humanity to confront an overwhelming truth. The universe is not just vast, but infinite in ways our physics cannot yet describe. It is older, denser, more structured, and perhaps more alive than we ever imagined. What began as a mission to peer into the first light after the Big Bang has become something far greater. Webb hasn't just revealed distant galaxies. It has revealed the architecture of creation itself. Before Webb, there was Hubble. Its ultra-deep field changed everything, a single patch of sky, no larger than a grain of sand held at arm's length, that revealed over 10,000 galaxies. Not stars, but island universes, each one burning with billions of suns. That image alone expanded our cosmic horizon and suggested that the observable universe might hold up to two trillion galaxies. For decades, Hubble's discoveries defined the scale of existence. But Hubble had limits. It was blind to the oldest light, the light stretched into infrared wavelengths by billions of years of cosmic expansion. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to see that invisible realm, and when its golden mirrors finally opened their eye to the cosmos, the universe answered. One of Webb's most ambitious programs, known as Cosmos Webb, dedicated more than 250 hours to scanning a seemingly ordinary patch of sky, an area three times larger than the full moon. Thousands of exposures were stitched together to create the most detailed cosmic map ever produced. Within that one frame, scientists found more than 780,000 galaxies, each a glowing monument to time. Some appeared mature, structured, and ancient, even though they existed mere hundreds of millions of years after the supposed beginning. The scale is beyond human comprehension. If Hubble's deep field could fit on a page, Webb's map would cover an entire wall, a mural of infinity stretching 13 feet across every dot another galaxy, every galaxy another universe unto itself. It is not just data, it is a redefinition of existence. Humanity has, for the first time, held eternity in its hands. But among all the awe and wonder lies a deeper disturbance, something that unsettles even the most rational minds. The galaxies Webb captured are far too advanced for their place in time. They possess structure, order, and heavy elements that should not exist so early in the cosmic timeline. By every model, the universe was supposed to be a chaotic infant then, filled with gas clouds and primitive star clusters. And yet, these galaxies display spiral arms, chemical richness, and mature formation. They should not be there. But they are. This single observation shakes the foundations of cosmology. It suggests that star formation, black hole growth, and galactic organization began much earlier than our theories allow. The clock of creation, it seems, began ticking before the moment we call the Big Bang, or perhaps time itself flows differently than we've ever realized. What Webb has revealed is not just light from the past, but the echo of something that defies our understanding of beginnings. As astronomers studied the staggering depth of Webb's image, they noticed another strange phenomenon. The galaxies weren't scattered at random like seeds thrown into the void. They were connected, aligned along invisible threads that stretched across unfathomable distances. These were not coincidences. They were filaments, vast rivers of matter weaving galaxies into a colossal cosmic tapestry. This is what cosmologists call the cosmic web, 
an interlaced network of dark matter and gas connecting galaxy clusters into structures so vast they could contain hundreds of thousands of Milky Ways. Some of these threads extend billions of light years, forming patterns too perfect, too symmetrical to have emerged by chance in such a short time after the universe began. This discovery unsettled everything we thought we knew. The universe was not born in chaos. It was born with design, a blueprint imprinted in its fabric from the very beginning. Gravity alone cannot explain such organization. Something deeper, something fundamental, guides the geometry of existence. And this realization ripples through science like a cosmic shockwave. For decades, the Big Bang has been our cornerstone, the singular event from which space, time, and matter emerged. But Webb's data hints at something else, something older and stranger. If galaxies appeared mature so soon after the supposed beginning, maybe the universe didn't start once. Maybe it has always been starting, an endless cycle of death and rebirth, expansion and collapse, echoing across eternity. Some scientists now whisper of a cyclic universe, others of layered time, where what we call, before, and, after, are illusions, and reality is far more complex than linear existence. The deeper Webb looks, the more it reveals a universe that refuses to end. In Hubble's time, we spoke of the observable universe, a sphere 93 billion light years across, limited by the speed of light. But Webb's findings hint that what we see is only a fraction of what is truly out there. There may be no edge, no boundary, no center. The cosmos could stretch infinitely in every direction, an endless ocean of light and shadow repeating across eternity. Infinity, once a philosophical abstraction, is now a mathematical necessity. And within that infinite expanse, we find our reflection. Standing before Webb's images, humanity confronts its greatest paradox. We have never felt smaller, and yet we have never been more significant. Against the backdrop of endless galaxies, we are nothing, a flicker of consciousness on a small blue world orbiting an ordinary star. And yet, we are the only known beings who have built a machine that can look back across billions of years, capturing the faint light of creation itself. In that act alone, we become part of the universe's self-awareness. We are the cosmos looking back at itself. What Webb has given us is not just a picture, but a mirror, one that reflects both our insignificance and our brilliance. The telescope's golden mirrors have peeled back the curtain of time, showing us that reality is far deeper, far stranger, and far more beautiful than we dared to dream. It has shown us that the universe may have no beginning and no end. It may simply be. And so, as the data continues to pour in, as each pixel reveals galaxies upon galaxies, structures beyond comprehension, humanity stands at the edge of something profound. The comfort of certainty has been replaced with the thrill of the unknown. The story of creation is being rewritten, and we are only on the first page. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to see the unseen. But what it has truly revealed is our own hunger to understand. Its discoveries remind us that knowledge is not an end, but a doorway. And beyond that doorway lies something vast, eternal, and waiting. The universe is not only greater than we imagined. It is greater than we can imagine.